When I first got my Rikon 14 inch bandsaw, I assumed I would never use this 9 inch task force saw again. But it turns out not to be the case. I actually use it all the time. One of my tires exploded. So I've got to change both of them. First thing I have to do is take off the wheels. This is the remnants of the bottom tire that exploded. I found chunks of this thing all up and down through here. Let's see if I can get these wheels off. Looks like just one snap ring holding each one. I'm hoping that's all there is to it. simple than I was expecting. It's a little, little thin plastic washer goes underneath each one. And of course this was stuck. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, duh, the belt's on it. I found these belts at polybelt.com. One of the few places who actually had uh, belts for this 9 inch task force. These apparently are slightly odd size. Let's see if I can get this old one off. Yeah, it's coming off pretty easy. The new belts are way smaller than this old one. You're supposed to submerge these in hot water and stretch them on. So I'm going to go get a bucket of hot water and we'll see what happens. I'm a little bit skeptical because that's a long way for these things to stretch. Cold, they're not stretchy at all, so we will see what happens. Okay, so the instructions actually said to soak the tires in hot water and dish soap for five minutes. And of course, with all this. Just open here, I can't see where the tires are. I really don't want to stick my hand in this burning hot water. Thank you. 
Yeah, I was really expecting that to break. Alright. Let's try this one and see what happens. Voila. On there and it didn't break. It's got a little ridge there. That black spot is a burn mark where the belt was welded. But it's got a little rough spot. This one doesn't have a burn mark, but it has the rough spot too. I think I'm going to shave those. Maybe just take a razor knife and shave them. Because I don't really want my hands all tired bumping. Seem to be doing much good with this scraping. Just have to leave it and put the blade on and see what happens. Let's see if I can get these wheels down the back on here. With the brand new tires. of the tension bolt.
so much easier when there's no tension on the belt. So I'm being too rough with those snap rings. Never seen snap rings with bend so easy. Alright now, let's see if we can get some tension back on this belt. Tension will make that go a little bit easier. Okay, there is the upper tension adjustment bolt, and there's there's the lower pivot bolt. In case anyone was wondering, I have one plug. All right, the top one is tracking where I want. The bottom one is too far toward the middle. So right now I'm sliding the bottom tire over to the back side of the wheel.
so it was just a matter of pushing the tire to the back part of the wheel. I've uh, got the tire on the top wheel pushed all the way to the front, to the outside. And they're opposite, but the blade is hitting about where I want it to hit. I don't want it in the middle gouging up the tire, so I probably already said that two or three times. Put the table level and bolt back in. Got to tighten up. I got the saw plugged in. Going to flip it on. Make sure the blade tracks. Seems good. All right, blades back on, tracking well. I'm going to give it a test. <laughs> 